So it's time to leave Copper Canyon. So on the way back to Korea, Swan Eureka, our car got hit up. But uh, after 20-30 minutes, all our arm was disappeared. So we can just drive again. We are heading to Cascada de Basaseachi. Oh, it's so cold! Oh my god! There's a really big waterfall. Oh yeah, there. It's so small. So this Cascada de Basaseachi is the highest full-time waterfall in Mexico. So right now it's dry season, so there's not much water. But there's still a little bit of water coming down and disappear to the air. It's cool. It's cool. You wanna go? Yeah. It's cold. It's just so cold. We thought Mexico is much warmer than that. Even there is some snow and the road is frozen. Let's keep going up though. I do. I am a little bit afraid that at yeah. some point it's slide back. It could be bad. Yeah. How am I supposed to do this with my life if all of my functioning hours? I think a little bit. We made it. We are crossing to the Senora State. In the middle of the mountain, there is a fruit checkout point. They took one banana and two grapefruits. Didn't take that one though. They didn't take this one though. Half <laughs> eaten. Sadly, we lost some fruits, but we are getting close to the beach. Why we came to Mexico? Because we need the sun. So it's really time for us to go to beach. After long way driving in Copa Canyon, finally we came to the coast. Mexico has a lot of tall roads, and it's really worth taking the highway. But uh, there's a still unexpected situation occurs. This time there's a booth. Last time there was a booth, and then people standing next to the booth and asking. With the bucket. There's the money in the bucket. We thought it was highway fee. That's why we gave her 100 peso, expecting to get the change, but she just put it in the bucket. That was not fee. This time I'm willing to pay to the lady in the booth. Bueno. Bueno. Muy bien. What is this? Gracias. This time we pay to the person in the tall booth. After that we saw a few times people standing right by the tall booth. But we just uh, drive past. What do you think about this? Next to highway. Hello, cow. Yes, it's Cows are wandering around beside the highway. Isn't it crazy? And still, Mexico is surprising us more. The windshield is greener now. So we are getting the gas and we wanted to go to the washroom and parking our van in front of the convenience store and there were like a guy like start cleaning up our van like clean the windshields and meters and we didn't ask any and what should we do? Pay money? Yeah, pay one. It's a weird culture, isn't it? We feel bad, right? If, if we don't pay, you know? But like we didn't ask like I'm still like upset with those holding a jar and asking oh, yeah. at the highway fee station. Yeah, but I did actually read a few things like that. Oh really? It's on IO Blinder, yeah. Okay. But sometimes uh, they can be a lot more aggressive. Oh, they just yeah. forcing you to pay? Like they'll put uh, pieces of wood with uh, nails in it so you can't drive away. Okay, what's gonna happen next? Once you get in the coast, you can see more seafood on the street. I'm Japanese. I love seafood. So we decide to stop and have some seafood. Oh wow! What's this? A 
we we pick different thing though. Yeah, that's what I thought. Since we both don't speak much Spanish, miscommunication occurs quite often. First, we saw the seafood soup came in front of us, and we are a little bit worried because of water. We are not supposed to drink the water from the tap, so we are not sure which water they are using it. You want to try these? <laughs> Spicy. The ones you put the shrimp in the mouth. Mm. So tasty. Octopus and shrimp. So good. And put mayo. We didn't know Mexican food is so tasty. Yeah, it's kind of hard to eat. Good. More eating mayo. In Mexico, it's expensive to get the coke. Canada has the cheapest coke. I know. We thought America was cheapest, or cheaper, and then Mexico was even cheaper. But so this is the first seafood restaurant we went in Mexico. It's beside a highway, and we didn't really expect it much, but it turned out to be the best seafood restaurant we ever been in Mexico. Vamos a la playa. Where is the sun? Oh yeah, sun is warm. Finally, we arrive at the beach. Is it cold? It's cold. It's cold. <laughs> and finally, we get to enjoy the sun. The water was colder than we expected, and the sun has almost set. However, after two weeks of confusing days in Mexico, it's time for us to relax. We know that we are still in chaos in Mexico. We still don't know where the toilet seats go, whom we supposed to tip to, and where to get water for the van. Anyway, I will show you as much as I could, and I hope you enjoy my videos. Next week on Bangal Yuka, we came to Mazatlan. Tasty cake. Thank you very much. Tasty seafood again. And I will show you how we refill our water tank in the van. May I see your flowers? Not finished yet. Do you want water? Yeah, I want water.